How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can get this on your iPhone. How you can enable battery percentage right here on your status bar. So then you'll always be able to check your exact battery life without having to pull down on the control center and check it right here. No, no, no. You'll be able to see it anywhere on your iPhone. Of course, on the home screen, within apps, as well as you can see right there and even on the lock screen you'll be able to check your exact battery percentage right here always on display on your status bar and if you want to enable this it's super super easy because all you have to do is open up your settings and then you're going to need to scroll down until you see battery and then right here we have this new option which is called battery percentage right here at the top so then if i disable it you see that it goes back to normal where you'll be able to see a rough indication of your battery life and if you turn it back on then we have it the exact percentage right here on your status bar but then there are two very important things to keep in mind if you want to activate this feature right now you need to be updated to a specific version of iOS 16, this is an iOS 16 feature, and also you need to have a compatible iPhone. Not all iPhones will get this feature. So let's talk about the version. Let's talk about iOS 16. As of the recording of this video, we're still on beta. iOS 16 is still on beta. So if you go here to general and then about, you see right here iOS version and then you see iOS 16. And this feature was enabled, it was introduced in iOS 16 beta 5. So if you're on beta 1, 2, 3 or 4, you won't see this feature, the battery percentage feature. But of course, if you're watching this video a little bit later on and then iOS 16 is already on its final version, that's okay. You need to have at least iOS 16 beta 5 or anything later than that. If you're not 100% sure on which version of iOS 16 beta you are, I'm gonna put here on the screen, right here, all of the build numbers of the available iOS 16 beta versions we have right now. So then beta one, two, three, and four, so I'll put them right here. And as you can see here, I have the beta five. So then as you can see, it ends on 39D. So then if you're on, 39D, you are on beta 5, you will be able to use it. If not, if you're on one of those older versions right here, you won't be able to use it just yet. And if you're not on either of those numbers, it means that you are on a newer version like beta 6 or beta 7 or whatever, so it means you are good as well. Now, let's talk about compatible iPhones, because as I said, it's not just the version of iOS 16, you also need to have a compatible iPhone because this feature is not available to everyone. The compatible iPhones are the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, so the 11 does not get it, the 12, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max, so the 12 mini does not get it, the iPhone 13, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, so again, the 13 mini doesn't get it. And also, the 10R, will miss this feature. So pretty much the iPhones with Face ID that will not get this feature are the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 11, and the iPhone 12 mini and 13 mini. So Apple skips those four iPhone models. We don't know why, but that's just how it is. Maybe on later versions of iOS 16, on later beta versions, we will get on more models, but I don't believe this will happen. Generally, when Apple releases a feature, it stays like that, so I don't see the compatibility changing anytime soon, all right? So, that's it. That's literally it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you can enable this feature on your iPhone and take advantage of this awesome little tweak here that I think looks really, really cool, all right? So, that's it. And I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye.